cost of living is definitely affecting my life uh, every week, if not every day. Thinking about if I have enough money to survive is definitely something that is on my mind a lot. The dream we were sold as kids was, you know, buy a house and that. that's just not something that I ever think I'm going to be able to do. It's going to be really difficult to have the same life that my parents had, for instance. I actually feel quite trapped into poverty due to my own health and disabilities and due to my child's multiple disabilities. I notice immediately in the supermarket or shopping centres how much um, food has gone up. We're going to be living very tightly for a long time and probably watching the interest rates very carefully for a while. I'm currently juggling our university with a couple of jobs. Work and study can be sometimes quite hard to manage. By the end of my degree, I had 65k uh, in hex debt. Unfortunately, my hex debt is something I don't think I'll be able to pay off in my working life. It's the debt that I'm least concerned about because I'm more concerned about how I'm going to possibly afford a home. Working part-time means that about half of my wage goes towards my rent. A lot of my friends and my partner have experienced very harsh rent increases, one of them being up to 12% in one year. And I feel like a lot of the time people are having to cop the rent increase with fear that they might not find something else. In looking around at the housing situation of a lot of the people I work with, I'm seeing a lot of them especially those in rental situations being moved on. It's baffling to me how they can survive financially with the impacting costs of uh, even just moving. The time you take off work to go look at properties and the added stress and anxiety that they have from just trying to work out where they're going to live in three months and the people who I work with that do own their own homes, I'm noticing them having to tighten their belts. Any cent they can save, they're saving at the moment. I've seen a real increase in the price for groceries and my budget that I did have for shopping um, to provide nutrition for my family has significantly increased. It's slowly crept up on us. It's not something that we noticed immediately. Our grocery bill has doubled in the last six years, spending about twice as much and getting much less value for that money. Like I'm lucky, I have an above average income, but even so, I don't necessarily see the immediate benefits because I still feel like I'm breaking even a lot of the time. Three to five years ago, we would have gone to the supermarket, picked up whatever we wanted, come home and not given it a second thought. And then all of a sudden, I've noticed the way that I'm shopping has changed. I love fruit, I love vegetables. I wish I could buy more of them and I could live with a healthier diet, but unfortunately, it's just not the case at the moment. So I've had to supplement that with access to food banks, access to vouchers, uh, via charities and it means that sometimes you're not able to choose the most nutritious food and it can really impact my um, health and well-being and my child's. Um, me and my partner we've talked about how we want to progress and have kids. We need to be realistic. Can we afford kids? If it still feels like a bit of a burden for two university graduates working full-time already, I just can't imagine how it would be for people who are in less off situations than myself. You know, I'm lucky that I bought my house when I did, but what I really wonder about is my children. The increase to the cost of living is just going up and up and up, and I don't see where it ends because I don't understand what has to happen to bring things back to a level playing field. I should have opportunities in the future, but unless there's change, I really feel like I'm going to be stuck in this cycle of poverty, in this cycle of barriers to work, barriers to healthcare, and I really, really hope that there can be some policy change and that there can be better inclusion and accessibility and better understanding of unpaid carers and what they're going through. I live in an area that's quite varied in terms of socioeconomic status. It's really evident that this extreme cost in living is causing massive disadvantage and it's actually excluding some people from participating equally in our society. So many of the people I work with are just constantly in a state of stress. I really worry for their future, I do.